Hello and welcome to Love the Day. My name is Lindy Haas and I'm so excited you're here crafting with me today. Love the Day is a place where you can learn about printables, your Cricut, SVG files, how to assemble gift baskets, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. I'm gonna to show you how to create this chartreuse tree board, which is perfect to give a friend or neighbor who might need a little extra brightening up. I'm gonna show you how to use some vinyl, how to assemble your candy in color-coded fashion, and how to assemble this. So let's get started. Here are the supplies you're gonna need for this project. You're going to need a see-through basket. I found this at Hobby Lobby. Some paper shreds, a charcuterie board. I found this one at Hobby Lobby as well. I love it because of the ingrained rainbows, which match our theme perfectly. You're gonna need some colorful ribbon, a variety of see-through containers and cellophane bags, a bunch of colorful candy, some vinyl, your light grip mat, and a Cricut machine. To get started on this project, we are going to need the SVG file that says just spreading some love. You can find that in my shop at lovethedayshop.com. Once you purchase the file, go ahead into your Cricut Design Space, open up a new project. We're going to upload the file, upload an image, and then we're gonna drag that file, just spreading some love into our design space. Once it's there, we will insert that image into our canvas. Right now, it's all grouped together and it's really big. So my charcuterie board, the space I have to work with is about five by seven. And I want the, um, the words to be much smaller than that. So I'm gonna make it about three by five. Nope, let's make it four by five, four and a half by five. As you can see, we've resized our SVG file, and right now what we need to do is ungroup it. When you insert the file into your canvas, everything will be grouped together. And we need to ungroup those, those letters because they're all the, the love is gonna be cut on different mats because they're different colors. But this just spreading some love is all gonna be the same color. So we are gonna group those together. So as you can see, I've taken my cursor and highlighted them all, and we're actually gonna weld them together. That will tell my Cricut that those need to be cut on the same mat and in one phrase, so just spreading some. And then the love can stay as it is because they'll all be on a different mat. We're gonna go ahead and press make it. We're gonna continue. We're gonna set our material as vinyl. I'm gonna go ahead and put my vinyl on my light grip mat. I'm using the premium vinyl by Cricut. I don't need a lot of this, so this is a scrap piece that I'm using. I'm also using the Cricut Maker, but for this project, you can also use the Explore Air 2. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my machine. And I'm gonna press the Cricut button, and my machine will do the work. repeat this step for the rest of the letters in our phrase and let the machine cut our vinyl. All of our vinyl is cut, and now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut around the words and the letters just to give us a little less space to work with. And then we're gonna get to my favorite part, which is weeding. The next part is my favorite part. It's called weeding. I've got my weeder tool, which is a Cricut tool, and I am gonna weed around the excess of the letters, the excess vinyl. So right here I have the V, and I wanna weed around the V, leaving the V on the plastic backing. 
It should be pretty easy to do on these love letters because they're so large. usually start from a corner or the edge of the cut and it will peel right up. You do want to take weeding pretty slow. There are times when if you're in a hurry, especially with like a really delicate piece of weeding like we'll be doing with the phrase, um, where you can rip the vinyl. So you kind of want to go slow and steady. That one came up really easily. Okay, the love is finished, and then this is what I was talking about. Um, I'm gonna put up on this top so you can see it's pretty intricate on the vinyl. And so we're gonna wanna weed pretty slowly because the, the wording is um, pretty small. So we're just wanna go slow and steady. Peeling off the large piece first. And then getting in between the letters. Now that we have our vinyl all weeded, we are going to transfer the vinyl onto our charcuterie board. What we're gonna need is some transfer tape. I'm using the regular grip transfer tape. The strong grip will be way too strong for this project, so just use the right regular. And as you can see, the transfer tape has grids already printed on it. This is gonna help us center the um, vinyl onto the charcuterie board. The first thing I did, um, was cut out a piece as you can see on the board it's kind of exactly the size and placement i want the vinyl to go and what i've done this is just a little tip is i've cut the vinyl directly in half so i know where the center is so you're going to take your transfer tape you're going to take the backing off of the transfer tape see where it's folded in the center still and we are going to place that center in the center of the just spreading some, starting with that center first and laying it down flat. If it pops up, that's okay, just, there we go. Next, we're gonna use our scraper tool and scrape that vinyl so it will adhere to the transfer tape. We're gonna peel at a 45 degree angle slowly and that vinyl will peel right up off the its backing. Now that we've put the just spreading some on our transfer tape, we are going to adhere the love onto the same piece of transfer tape. We're gonna start with the L. And one thing that helps me is, so this was this transfer tape backing. I'm just gonna tape this down on my mat, slip slide up. Then I'm also going to stick the L down so it doesn't, it can tend to get, it's so the transfer tape so sticky it will kind of pop up. So this will help me put the L right where I want it and it will stay in place. I'm gonna use that scraper tool, scrape the L onto the transfer tape and do the same thing, peel it at a 45 degree angle so the L comes up. And we're gonna move on to the O. And the same thing, I'm going to tape it down just to help me visualize where it's supposed to be and so it doesn't move out of place. Put that transfer tape down, use my scraper tool. Now we're going to move on to the V, taping that down nice and straight. Can transfer it onto my transfer tape. Got the V down. The last letters, we're going to do the E. 
same thing, let's tape it down. And then we're gonna transfer that E to the transfer tape. Use our scraper tool, and that popped right up. So as you can see, we have our whole phrase on one piece of transfer tape, and now we'll be transferring this vinyl onto the charcuterie board. And it's kind of the same process. We're gonna take our charcuterie board. We've got the center of our um, transfer tape. And we're gonna go ahead and place that on our charcuterie board. And we're gonna use our scraper tool again and scrape that vinyl onto the charcuterie board. And just as we did before, we're gonna take the transfer tape, roll at a 45 degree angle, and you'll see that that vinyl is now on the charcuterie board. It's looking centered and perfect. As you can see, the vinyl is on our charcuterie board. So colorful, so fun. Now we're gonna assemble the gift basket. So as you can see, I have a ridiculous amount of rainbow candy. What I'm gonna do is open them all up, color coat them, and put them in different cellophane bags, jars, have these little plastic containers. All of these are found in my local craft stores. Most of these candies came from the grocery store. Also, CVS had a really great supply. You can also go to like a novelty candy shop. That works really well too. So let's get open. Now that we have all of our candy in a color-coded bags with ribbon and vinyled our board, we are going to assemble this gift basket. As I mentioned before, you're going to want a clear gift basket so you can see all the colorful candy inside. And I filled it with white paper, paper shreds. The first thing we're going to do is put that board in the back and then we're going to start assembling the candy around the board so that all those colors show. Make sure that you can see the vinyl lettering. Kind of arrange your ribbons so they're turned the right way. Put the bags of candy in the front. You can see now why we're using bags and bottles, some plastic containers to give it some dimension and variety. I'll go ahead and put this here. And there you have it. You have the most colorful rainbow gift basket, perfect for someone or a friend in need. And there you have it. We have the most colorful gift basket, perfect for someone who might need a little cheering up. We've got our vinyl charcuterie board. We've got all of our colorful candy and it's ready to go and be delivered. Thank you so much for crafting with me today. It's been a pleasure. I hope you subscribe, tune into some of my other videos and we'll see you next time.